at that. A rare one. It's strong, and to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're all done here, let's call for Exfel. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Admittedly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting. Wait, just remembered. Some new engineered corn or something. Uh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on. If we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. Pardon the interruption, Director. I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. Too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention. Now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. Senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. 
Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics and given a brief overview of God Arcs and Armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams. Let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed.
didn't expect that. You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paler Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paler Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right! The Aegis project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to Aragami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something! Oh, right! <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a, uh, catnap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well.
is this. Knowledge of one's surroundings is the line between life and death. Take a look around. Excellent. Now focus straight ahead once more. Second rule of combat. Keep moving. Here's a primer on the most effective forms of traversal in the field. There are two platforms in the training area. Go ahead and climb atop them. High ground is an advantage that can't be denied, both in scouting and actual combat scenarios. Always be sure to keep one eye on your stamina. If you lose your breath out there, it may cost more than your pride. Why don't you go for a quick run? Get that heart rate up. That seems like a suitable warm-up. Now, on to the basics of combat training. The weapon in your hand is called a God Arc, the only tool that can slay Aragami, bound to you for life. We've just released some Aragami mock-ups into the training chamber. Strike them down.
Let's begin with a review, shall we? Make sure you were paying attention in the last session. Slay the enemy. Be aware they are tougher than what you're used to, and will require some advanced tactics. Stay sharp. When there's no hope of avoiding an attack entirely, open your shield to absorb the brunt of the assault. Fighting trim is the only way to survive. It does, however, take a while to bandage yourself properly. Using stun grenades will buy you some time and space. Now, I think I'll have you fight the origami from before one more time. Let's see how you fare. Your God Arc has another special trait that you should make good use of in the field, Devour Form. This allows you to take Oracle energy directly from the enemies you face in the wild. By siphoning this Oracle, you can temporarily increase your own strength, even to unheard of levels. Wait for an opening to present itself, and then strike with Devour Form. From there, enter Burst Mode, and finish the beast. to your god arc itself. Alternatively, okay, you can collect right. the scraps that line the field during battle. Just to prove you can do it, please go around and pick up the ones we've littered about the training area. Training will conclude in 20 seconds. Seems you've passed boot camp simply enough. Next, you'll go up against the real thing. Fight well, God Eater. 